What is going on guys, EXP here, and today I'm finally doing my review of Ragnarok Odyssey Ace. If you have been keeping up with my channel, you know that I've been playing a lot of this game and I've been uploading an absolute ton of videos on it. So make sure you guys go check out my channel after this video if you are interested in watching some videos on it. But the first thing we are going to be talking about in this review is gameplay. This game is a real-time action RPG and has many typical elements that you will find in an RPG like item collecting, crafting, class system, and of course a few annoying NPCs. But this game also brings a lot of unique things to the table such as there being no leveling system. Rather than just gaining levels, you actually get cards and collect cards. And these cards can be equipped to your clothing to provide a stat boost or a new specific class ability. Of course, the class system is also pretty unique as you can switch between the six different classes at any time. This is actually really cool because if you don't like the class that you chose at first or you're, or you're just getting bored of it, rather than having to start all over, you can just switch classes, buy new cards, clothing, and a weapon, and you're ready to continue on with your story. Speaking of story, I couldn't really find one other than the fact that you are in the army and they want you to keep doing these quests, but other than that there is no story to keep you interested. But luckily the awesome combat system and huge bosses were enough to keep me interested. Moving on to graphics, they were pretty good and they were pretty much what I expected from this kind of game. Although there were some like weird glares that I noticed in some parts of the game that just really didn't make sense and they were actually pretty distracting. But other than that the game is bright and colorful and looks awesome. But I would like to say that the armor is pretty disappointing for the most part but the swords are pretty cool. But anyways let's move on to sound. The game sound was actually pretty good and some of the music was actually surprisingly good however some of the music was also pretty bad. One of the new songs that came out in this game was actually created by this man. I don't know how to pronounce his name but if any of you guys know anything about video game music you would know that he is the same guy that made the Final Fantasy tracks. So that is pretty awesome. As far as innovation goes, this game doesn't have a lot of it. It is an updated version of Ragnarok Odyssey with all the DLC and with new enemies, skills, and dungeons. But the game overall does have a unique card system and it also has a pretty cool combat system and the large boss fights are pretty fun and challenging at times with the whole like aerial combat ability that you gain during them. But it is still the same game as before, just with a few more cool monsters and items. So the final thing we are going to be talking about in this review is lifespan. How long will this game keep you entertained and how long will it take you to beat it? Well, this is kind of a tough one for this game. It is a very long game that also includes an online mode, so if you knew someone else with the game, you could actually co-op the entire story. And there is so much to unlock, but it is also not an open world nor are there any kind of like leaderboards, so it may get very boring after a while, especially if you don't have a friend to do missions with. So overall this game is actually quite good. If you're coming from Ragnarok Online or maybe you played Ragnarok Odyssey, I'm sure that you are going to fit right in and if you're not, just give this game a chance and I'm sure you will enjoy it. So my final score for this game is a 7 out of 10. It is a good game with very few flaws and with the online mode it can actually be really fun to play with friends. However I wish that there were more levels, maybe more monsters that you could uh, maybe mix it up once in a while and do different kinds of quests kind of got repetitive after you know the first chapter or two but that is all for this review guys make sure you guys check out my channel for plenty of gameplay on this game and if you enjoyed this review or found it helpful drop this video a like it really helps me out and i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one